Okay, so I've uh, reset uh, everything. We are now, uh, according to a uh, start off estimation of uh, 12 kilowatt hours, we have around 168 kilometers to travel. That always uh, keep in mind that the range is estimated uh, on the average uh, consumption that uh, you make. So, and this consumption is based on how much you are pressing uh, that pedal over there and how much uh, does this uh, consumption indicator goes up to uh, power so the range may vary based on the uh, average uh, consumption so we are starting off at uh, 12 kilowatt hours downhill uh, the odometer right now reads 528 kilometers sorry just one second so this is where we start off with. Let's see how much uh, does the battery regenerates. And there are three degrees uh, Celsius, keep that in mind uh, as well. And we are going downhill. Okay, one thing uh, that I would uh, want everybody to consider is the fact that I will try as much as I can to, uh, um, to recharge the uh, batteries. So I won't be trying to prove something uh, uh, wrong just uh, because so I'll try to see how much I can actually uh, recover uh, downhill uh, or uh, by going uh, downhill in my uh, in my car so all these tests the purpose is to serve my uh, my interest and that is uh, to see how much does it uh, take to go uphill and how much can I uh, recover going downhill Okay, so, uh, so far it seems that uh, I was right, this uh, regenerative uh, charging uh, or charging while uh, traveling downhill isn't actually working, it's uh, more of a re-evaluation of uh, the range, but uh, we are still uh, uh, some time uh, to go and we have around another eight kilometers to go downhill so we see how uh, this uh, works out for us to see if there's really any charging going on there's a biker so I'm going to try to keep the car as much as I can uh, charging but uh, it doesn't seem to work so far. I've lost 1% going downhill for 5 kilometers. So I would say that uh, this is what we are going to get. But we'll see. Okay, so we've made it uh, pretty much uh, half the way down. As I told you, I went up there into the mountains and I need to go down there into the valley. So, so far, I would say that uh, the Dacia Spring goes uh, very nicely uh, uphill, while uh, uh, downhill it does not uh, recharge any of the battery, but the uh, range is re-evaluated. So that is what the uh, Dacia Spring does uh, good. It goes well uphill and it does not recharge downhill. Uh, and I would say that uh, the same about, uh, for example, the uh, Volkswagen E-Up, which did the same thing. Okay, so here we are uh, at the end of our trip. We have an estimated range of uh, 182 per kilometers, a battery of 72%. Uh, a total odometer odometer of uh, 541 uh, kilometers and an average consumption of 2.3 kilowatt hours so uh, as you can see this is not minus so that means that the battery could not have been uh, charging it is true that uh, I've been traveling with the uh, heating on uh, but uh, and uh, with the uh, dead lights on because I cannot switch them off but uh, even so I would say 100% sure that the battery doesn't actually uh, regenerates or does not replenishes if you go downhill or if you break those are only uh, myths you cannot recharge your batteries by breaking or by going uh, downhill 
you the only thing that you would achieve is to have a different uh, uh, different average uh, consumption in uh, kilowatt hours and then uh, the car that would interpret in having more uh, range but uh, the conclusions of the uh, tests are that uh, you can go uphill with the uh, spring uh, there's no problem uh, even uh, in um, in cold weathers such as uh, this one uh, where I went uh, up there there were uh, two degrees down here there are six degrees in uh, in Brashov where the uh, test was uh, performed so at low temperatures the uh, spring behaves uh, I would say unexpectedly well a lot better than the uh, Volkswagen e-up that I used to have uh, the one that had indeed an 18 kilowatt battery this one has 32 so that's a big plus uh, for this car but uh, I was uh, expecting a lot less from uh, this car and it has given me a lot more so overall very pleased with going uphill and downhill with the Dacia Spring the average consumption is very good the range is very good with it so I would say that I wouldn't uh, have expected more and for my personal belief uh, I would say that uh, this car proves me good and I'm very satisfied with it in terms of range and going uh, around the, the city so I'm very satisfied with the car